Hey Commanders, Protasio back with a new video and this time we're featuring the tournament Searching the Nautilus plus some tips on how to build shipyards within your deployment time. We'll also be discussing the goals, the nature, and the maps that are involved in the current tournament. So here's a description of the tournament from the game itself. How do you win? So you capture 10 control points in the sea, just like this. And then another way is to destroy the enemy base. So what is the nature of this tournament? So it's mainly going to be naval battles. So what it's going to look like is going to be like this. You're mainly going to see caimans, deltas, alligators, vikings, barracudas, and poseidons. You're also going to see a ton of naval defenses, naval platforms, and uh, torpedo platforms. You're also going to see air support units such as hawks, vertex, dragonfly, cyclones, and in extreme situations, bombers such as the albatross and thors. Next up would be the map, so we have Thunderhead, Fishing Hole, and Cross Lake. So in Thunderhead, this would be your spawning points. And here's the one for Fishing Hole. Last but not the least, Cross Lake. And next up, we'll talk about how to build naval shipyards during your deployment time. So uh, there are a few requirements and things to consider in order to pull this off, so let's talk about the requirements. You must have 50 seconds or more deployment time in order to pull this off. Additionally, it takes about 3-4 seconds for each building to complete within your deployment time. After that, we'll be talking about the build order, so we start off with one construction yard, then a power supply, a supply center, one to two barracks, assault, vehicle factory, and then upgrade our HQ to level 2. In terms of upgrades, we also have to consider energy cost, resource cost, construction speed, and your deployment range. So let's try to break down the energy cost. So it takes about 40 power for a construction yard, 10 power for a barracks, and 40 power for a supply center. 15 and 20 for the assault vehicle factory, and 30 and 40 for the naval shipyard. A total of 135 for resistance and 150 for confederation. Moving on, let's break down the resource cost. So it's 300 for a construction yard, 300 for a power supply, 400 for a supply center, then 80 and 100 for a barracks, 160 and 180 for the assault vehicle factory, 400 to upgrade the HQ, and 250 for the shipyard. That's gonna be a total of 1810 for resistance and 1850 for confederation. Next up would be skill cards, so these are the 4 skill cards that you'll be looking out for. So we got deployment speed, deployment duration, construction speed, and starting resources. The blue ones should be at least level 4, but the higher the better. For upgrades, uh, let's take a look first at the HQ, so the power, deployment time, starting resources, and the visual range must be maxed at rank 18. For the construction yard, the construction speed, construction cells must be maxed at rank 18. Next is the power plant, must also have max power supply. Lastly, we'll talk about the order of action. Start with a construction yard, then turn on blue emergency measures, build a supply center and build a power plant. Upgrade your HQ to level 2. Turn on gold construction boost, build a barracks, then build an assault vehicle factory. Some of the steps can be intertwined or interchanged. It depends on how you'll be able to pull it off. So don't be afraid to experiment and see what works for you. Alright, it's time for the battle replay. So it's gonna be myself against Boon Boon from Marine's Finest. So we'll be fighting in the Thunderhead map. So I start off with a construction yard, turn on blue emergency measures, 
put down a supply center, a power plant, two barracks, then upgraded my HQ to level 2, turned on gold construction, and then put down an assault vehicle factory. I produced a couple of them to collect containers. Never forget to collect containers as well, since that's gonna help you in unit production as well as building your shipyard if you only plan to do one or better that you'll be able to go with uh, two shipyards so as you can see I still had about five seconds to build those two naval shipyards and since I had extra resources from the containers I was able to collect I would be able to produce a couple of caimans to scout the enemy naval base so I still continue to collect containers in order to aid in base development as well since I'm currently uh, only on one supply center. Too bad that the enemy got that one. So a couple of Caymans now approaching the enemy base and as you can see he's only starting to build two shipyards. He also puts down a couple of administrative buildings, I believe those were two supply centers. So he's gonna be halted in putting down a torpedo platform. So what he does is he proceeds to produce deltas to fend off my caimans. So now we can see that he's put down his torpedo platform and thinking in advance that the caiman rush would fail. I went ahead and upgraded one of the shipyards to level 2 so I'd have access to alligators. So what I did there as well is I placed trident mines in front of the naval, uh, enemy naval shipyards so that when the delta comes out either it's gonna be dead or it's gonna be badly bruised. So enemy here is trying to defend with that fortress while I'm only waiting until the alligator becomes available to me. So a delta comes out but gets destroyed by those caimans. So I focus on units that he's trying to defend with and then I shift fire to one of those uh, naval shipyards since it's already low in health. Um, but I tried to place my caimans in the radius of the uh, control point. So I'll be able to collect that and uh, get the supply container as well. So enemy placed another torpedo platform on the left hand corner and destroys one of his shipyards. So we have a few deltas here that's going to be able to fend off the caimans. And then my caimans back off to continue collecting that control point. So nothing crazy this time, just waiting for the alligator to come out and I'm... Oh, looks like we already have an alligator out there. I also um, attacked or tried to annoy him with the coyote and a rifleman so that his attention would be divided all the time. So I was able to collect one of the... or the one of the control points, uh, actually two. So I was able to get the supply container coming from those control points which would help me in developing my base or producing more alligators so I'll be able to easily attack the enemy player. So I'm gonna place my units here and have that Cayman check out what's going on. So enemy player is already trying to come back and Upgrade that naval shipyard to level 2 uh, to have access to vikings. So we have his deltas defending that naval shipyard. Since it's gonna be crucial to have um, vikings be able to defend his base from those alligators. So I placed my alligators here and then stopped them just right outside the range with the addition of the naval strike. Uh, this boost is gonna change in the future update, so instead of adding plus 3 range to naval units, what it's gonna do is it's gonna add 30% movement speed, uh, some vision, and um, adds 
or uh, lessons the time that uh, you're gonna need to collect containers. So alligators navigating to the right side to deal some damage. And as you can see, my vase is also uh, pretty well developed now. Um, I'm also able to get up to HQ3 and control most of the um, naval map. So Delta's gonna come here to be, uh, or gonna try to be heroic and defend against those alligators. So alligators here uh, will destroy those Deltas and will continue attacking the enemy base. So HQ is almost down, we see a hammer, but I don't think that's gonna be able to do anything at all. So Torpedo Platform focuses on my alligator. So what I did is I halted the movement of my caimans so that the Torpedo Platform attacks them. So that's a trick that you can do to have um, enemy defenses target uh, less important units than the ones that are able to uh, deal tons of damage. So that seals the deal and the enemy presses the self-destruction button. So that's gonna be a victory for us. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. I hope you liked it. And if you did, hit that like button and subscribe to my channel for more Art of War 3 content.